GRE geometry quadrilaterals let's explore what is a quadrilateral a quadrilateral is any shape with four sides so it's a four-sided figure one two three four now let's try to regularize this figure if we have a quadrilateral in which two sides are parallel to each other then this is known as a trapezium in case of a trapezium if the parallel sides are each a and b units long and let's say the height of this trapezium is h then the area of this trapezium will be the average of the opposite sides times height if the same trapezium which had the opposite sides parallel to each other but the other two sides are equal in length they are equal in length not parallel so now what we have is known as an isosceles tra trapezium let's say this these opposite sides which are parallel to each other are still a and b inches long and the height is still h so the area is still the average of these opposite sides times height in the same trapezium now the opposite sides which were parallel are now also equal to each other in length so this is a the opposite side is also a and the other two sides are also equal and parallel to each other let's call it B so what we have here is known as a parallelogram what happens in a parallelogram the opposite angles are also equal to each other so this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle in case of a parallelogram if you draw a line from these two opposite angles correctly so what we have is known as a diagonal let's call it d1 there's another diagonal here and this is d2 and we can see here one diagonal is larger than the other one and if this parallelogram has a height H and the area of this parallelogram is simply A times H. We are not taking the average of the opposite sides which because it will be equal. Now if the same parallelogram has the same characteristics as before, opposite lines are parallel, opposite sides are parallel and equal to each other these ones are also parallel and equal to each other but now the all the angles are 90 degrees this is a and this is b so this shape is now known as a rectangle so it's easy now in case of a rectangle these two diagonals are equal so we can say both are D and area is again simply A times B now if we have a rectangle but now all the sides are equal and there's 90 degrees as before so what we have now is called a square in case of a square this is a diagonal and these are again the same 
the area of a square is simply a squared because this is this side times this side the, if the same square is compressed sides are still the same in length but the angles are not 90 they are less than 90 in this case and they are equal the opposite angles are equal and this is equal to this but this is more than 90 in this case so what we have now is called as rhombus what, hap what happens in case of a rhombus these two diagonals are not equal to each other so the area of a rhombus is p times q divided by 2 how did it become divided by 2 let's do some construction here if we draw this accurately of course so if you if you notice this thing this is a this rhombus can be enclosed in a rectangle and the height is q and the breadth is p so if if we had to find out the area of this rectangle it have been p times q but because we are only considering one shape out of the two possible or four shapes out of the eight possible it means we are taking half of it that's why this is the area of this rhombus thank you